Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of video of this build, but this is what we started out with. After removing all of the bed liner throughout this entire boat, we dropped everything down to a blank slate. Added a nice little uh, step here. As per the customer, wanted bench seating. And that's what we come up with. Bench seating with storage in between. This is a hyperlapse video, actually one of my TikToks. And if you don't follow me on TikTok, well, you're missing out. We've got 100,000 followers over there now. And uh, this is how I built the console from scratch. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Dustin Apple, hashtag White River Rambo, and I love getting tips and tricks from other boaters. Today is no different. I'm going to share a tip with you that someone taught me. Now this is a dog steak or a pet steak, and this particular one has a swivel on it. Now how could you use this in the boating world? Do you ever hang out on the beach? Do you ever tie off to the bank? Well, with this, you're never looking for a limb, you're never looking for a rock. You can simply corkscrew this into the sand and silt, and it's going to hold your boat just fine. So, in today's video, we're going to make a tie-off for a boat. I got some 3 8 rope here, some 3 quarter inch heat shrink, and a large brass clasp, but it's big enough to go on the bow eye of this John boat. So, let's get started. So, I'm going to start with my heat gun and take my 3 8 rope and kind of, kind of fluff the end up a little bit, and then just hit it with a heat gun. You can do this with a torch, too. Open flame is fine. Get it to where it's all nice and gooey looking. And then I'm simply going to press the end of it right down here on the steel table and let it cool. Two, three, four, that should be good. And that gives me a nice solid end, but it's flared just a little bit. And that's going to come in handy when we do our next part. I've got about six inches. I don't know. That's, that's more like 10, ain't it, guys? But uh, I've got some three-quarter inch um, heat shrink. And all I'm going to do is thread this in through all the way to the end there and when it comes out the end I'm simply going to put it through my dog clasp and then I'm going to run it all the way back through and sometimes it's a little hard to get back through but this particular instance I think it's going to work out just fine and what I want to do I want to get that right to the end And just like that, we have a nice handle as well as, you know, there's no, there's no knots. There's nothing to come undone. That heat shrink actually has glue inside of it. And, well, it's as strong as the rope is. Now, the other end, we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to use the, uh, the swivel that's on the stake here. And I've got, I don't know, about 18, 20 foot of line on this stake. It's personal preference there um, for this particular one. I don't know the bank in which this person operates. So I want to give them plenty of space, but we're just going to do the same thing on this end and hey, we'll have ourselves a boat stake. Now I commonly see lines like this tied to the bow eye off the front of the boat, which is fine. Just make sure that it is perfectly tied off and cannot fall off the side of the boat. If this line were to fall off the boat and make its way back to the prop, it could cost you your life. So make sure you tie off properly. That way, all the spare line is tucked down inside the boat. And that is there for easy access. I promised everyone that I would come back with a finished result. And as you can see, the turf that we laid down just, just laid exceptional. The color palette works well. Kind of a cream camo with this OD uh, truck bed liner. And I absolutely love this boat. 1860 Tracker. We got uh, RGBW LEDs on both sides of the uh, console as well as underneath those seats 
back there in the back. Um, I do have a, a little bit of storage right there in that center compartment. And then um, three pole seating all the way across the back deck, all the way across the front deck. And the only thing that I have to do is wire up some navigation lights, throw the battery in there, and uh, switch our helm over from tiller steer to hydraulic. And then Mr. Yamaha, um, my neighbor over here, has a, uh, a brand new digital Yamaha gauge and networking cables, and we're going to install that tomorrow. So this customer is getting ready to just rock out on the river. Have an awesome time. Love that clear windshield. I'm glad she did that instead of going with smoke. Um, brand new little trolling motor over there. It's never been used. We uh, we put a plug right here where it should be. Cleaned up some wiring here. And then put heavy four gauge wire all the way to the back. And we'll put a 50 amp breaker back there. Um, man, this is a fire ass little boat. And I've just had nothing but good things to say about this entire build from start to finish. So just a few more wrenches to turn and I get to give her back. So on the final reveal day, I went over to White River Marine located in Shoals, Indiana and my buddy Cody Roush, my Yamaha dealer. And uh, we converted the, the final steps of this boat, taking it from a tiller and you know turning it into a console boat wired and finished up the hydraulic steering as well as uh, uh, installing a bob's kicker jack you can see the inside of the console there all the speakers and lighting systems that went into this build just everything turned out nice and clean always got to tag your product i am that brand and that brand um, you know is just everything i stand for so always put pride in my work as you can see everything turned out just nice and clean man this lady uh, actually a lady owner by the way um, ended up with a phenomenal boat a kill switch and trolling motor shut off there in the storage area console always the centerpiece of the boat just turned out beautiful I'd never installed these speakers or the sliding system before and you can see the before and after here. And I think that speaks for itself. Hey, y'all, stay safe, shoot straight, shoot off, and don't forget to wear the personal flotation devices and tree stand harnesses while you're out there chasing God's critters. I'm White River Rambo, and I'll see y'all in the next one.